so here's one that's fun. Instead of making the design with knits and pearls, like we're doing for the skull or the zigzag, we're using yarn overs to make bigger and smaller loops, right, in a design. This is the Easy Drop Stitch Scarf Pattern by Christine Vogel of Frazzled Knits. All right, so what do we have here? We have, the design is going to be multiples of 10 and you need another six to make it all work out. So you can cast on however many you want for this yarn that she used, a DK or a worsted, so a heavier yarn. She cast on 26 stitches and that made this nice width of a scarf there. All right? Okay, so gauge. Why would I talk about gauge when it's just a scarf? I have this mystery yarn, right? Picked it up at a garage sale. Very, very fun stuff, but no instructions with it. Nothing to tell me the needle size that it recommends or any of that other good stuff. I don't have to worry about running out, <laughs> but I do have to worry about how it's gonna look and how big it's going to be. Right, just as far as I like a nice, wide, long scarf. So what have I done here? I have cast on, I think it was 20 stitches, and I've done about 10 rows on these little needles, because it's little yarn, to see how dense is that going to be, right? Is that going to give me the in-between part kind of solid in comparison to the yarn overs, which looks pretty good. That's also going to tell me that if this is 20 stitches, you know, my scarf's gonna be, I don't know, what is that? Three inches wide, give or take. Um, of course, I'll measure before I make my decision. So that means her 26 inches, or excuse me, cast on 26 stitches is definitely not going to work for me. I'm probably gonna do more like 46 maybe even more, who knows, we'll see. But I've decided that so far, I like the size needle I'm using. Now I'm going to do a little bit of the pattern just to test it out again, to see if I like the way it's looking. Since I don't have her numbers of stitches, this will be a little weird, but this would be knit six, blech, knit six to start the pattern, and then I'll show you the cute little design. All right. So yarn over is we're adding extra yarn. And that could be because we want a bigger loop when we're done, like we're doing on this design. Um, it could be that we're trying to add a stitch or that we're trying to make more of an opening, but here we go. So yarn over. I've put the yarn over my needle before I've made my stitch, right? Yarn over once, knit. So you can see I've got an extra in here. And then I yarn over twice. So I've wrapped it twice, take my stitch, yarn over three times, take my stitch, and then I do twice. Sorry about that. And then once, and then I continue on. Okay, and I'd be doing the design again. Eh, let's just throw it in there. All right, once, twice, three times. So half of a design there. So what do you do when you come back on it? All right, 
So these extra yarn overs now, I'm going to knit and drop the extra yarps, yarps, <laughs> the extra wraps off. So I knit this first stitch and I had three yarn overs. One, two, three. Drop it off. Knit this one. Drop one, two. This stitch. Drop the one. Okay, I'm going to do my six. Okay, and so here's my design coming in again. See the big hole? All right. So, knit one, drop off one yarn over. Two, three, two, one, and then I have my regular stitches again. So you can start to see how that's going to work out. At the moment, it mostly looks like a mess. So for this pattern, you do the design, the yarn overs, and then you knit three rows, and then you do the design again, offset. So let me just, that was row one. Let me do two more real quick. That's my three rows in between. And now I do the pattern again, but the first time I did the pattern, I knit six and then started it. This time I'm just going to knit one and start it. This is so you get the wave, you'll see in a minute. Yarn over, I'm trying to get that One, two, two, three, one, two, one, and six. Two, one. Can you see how that design's starting to come in? There's one of my little wave areas. Here's half of the other because I've only got that many stitches on. Let me come back across the row I just did so you can see all those dropped. Can you see how the stitch I need, it's the only one that's anchored to the row before, 
right? My yarn overs are just wrapped around the needle. So that's how I know. And now you can see how that wave action starts to come in. It's a little hard to hold that that way. All right, here's partial, and then it waves up and down around those openings. So now I would look at this and say, okay, do I like the size of the loops on everything? Do you like what I'm getting? If I do, then I can look at this and say my 20 stitches is... Seven and a half inches, just kind of loose like that with the design pulling. Five and a half, give or take, where I cast on. That's going to be the more accurate one because as I continue to do the loops, I'll have rows of knitting between each of them, and that plus some blocking will help keep it straight. So if I go by this measurement, all squished up, it's what about four inches, give or take. And if I stretch it out like I was blocking it, now I'm looking at about five and a half. So that's probably pretty close to what it would be. If I wanted to do this officially, I'd make my big swatch, cast off, wash it, block it, and then I'd know for sure. As this is for a scarf and, you know, I got some play in here, thinking this is probably about right. So if I have 20 stitches now, yeah, if I do 46 stitches, that's going to give me a scarf that'll end up 10, 11 inches wide, give or take. And I think that'll work with this one. We'll see.